HMRS Marty signing in. Hey everybody, welcome back to Code Grover Team, and today I'm going to be discussing can you make a complex game with Python. So for starters, let's do a quick comparison of uh, of a gamer in Python and a gamer in C++. So right here is where is it? right there. This here is a game that I wrote in Python using the Pygame library. Yeah, the mouse is messed up for some reason. It's probably it's probably my recording software that's messing it up. But anyways, whoops, turn that off. So, play. So, you can see, like, once I get started getting closer to the enemies, it starts to run pretty slow. The specs on my computer are um, 12 gigabytes of RAM and I think 2, two trillbytes of hard drive. So, it's a pretty good computer. Um, so, that's the test on a game written in Python. As you can see, it's pretty slow. So, now let's do a test on a game written in C. This is here is a game that my brother made. It's ah, there we go. So you've got it's um, probably the same complexity because there's a lot, you know, there's a lot of things that take that the game takes into account for. Like that's a lot of swords flying. This game here is written in C plus plus, and as you can see, it's like there's probably like um, at least a hundred swords on the screen at this moment right now and it's still it's still keeping up like I can still move around I don't notice any lag of any kind so uh, as they say the proof is in the pudding right there my general opinion is if you're going to go for a complex game go with Python I mean go with C++ over Python here are a few, few reasons why you know a few pointers about python a few pointers about c++ so python for introduction language is a great language it's simple that's the language i started with and it's interpreted language so actually if you if you take a look a lot of the python files are actually written in c well, yeah so that's how like that that basically means c is c is more back more under the hood back to basics than python is and why I say go with C++ over C, well, C++, um, it's better for object-oriented programming, and it's, it's, it supports multi-threading better, which multi-threading is basically splitting up a task into different smaller sections. That's basically multi-threading. Um, if you've heard of Blender, you can, you can, like, if you wanted to make a 3D game with Python, you, you want to actually make it with Python, you could write, you could write the logic with Python, but actually under the hood, the 3D engine Blender is written in, one of the C languages, I'm pretty sure. Um, data analysis, you, Python's really great for data analysis. Um, like if you like, say you had a program, a stock chart program that detects, you know, goes along, detects numbers and stuff like that. Great, Python's great for that. Same with web development, Python's really, Python, you know, it's great, like, like if you're doing a website in HTML, HTML just is a markup language, and then you also have, then you have to have JavaScript with HTML, because JavaScript is coding language which handles logic. But Python, it's all in one. So that's what's nice is well, that's what's nice about that. And alongside with web development, you can like make your own server with Python, which is cool. So like you can take your computer and then be running your website, and then people can come along and look at your website without having to send it to Google. So that's that's nice. That's pretty good with Python. And 2D games. Of course, if you're going to go make a super super simple game like Flappy Bird, I'd say go with Python over C++ because that's where Python excels at. It's kind of like a, a master of many trades, but I mean, uh, uh, knows many trades but a master of none. So that's that's kind of what C Python is. Um, Python's more simple, whereas C++ is more complex. And Python supports multi-threading, same with C++. And oh, used by Google a lot. Originally, a lot of Google, like the Google search files that were written in Python. Not the modern day Python, but uh, older, quite an older version of Python. So that tells you that, you know, in the job world of things, there is definitely a market for Python for sure. So that's what good about Python and about C++. Well, if you want to make a game for a PlayStation or Xbox, C++, no problem. 2D and 3D games, Python can, I mean, C++ can handle it, no problem. If you're going to make a complex game, I recommend go C++ for sure. C++ is commonly referred to as the best game language that there is, mainly because um, it supports multi-threading, it's great for object-oriented programming. And again, you could make your own server with, Pi with C++ if you wanted to, and you could make your own website with C++ if you wanted to as well, it's just going to be a lot harder as if you did it with Python. So that's basically a lot of the reasons. 
um, if you made a 3D game with Python and you made a 3D game with C++ and you compared the two, um, <laughs> yeah, it would be like a snail racing the Flash. So, <laughs> to put it into perspective, Python's great for a lot, like, it has a variety of, um, it has a variety of things it can do, whereas C++ is a little more specialized, but is, like, more efficient and more cleaner of a run. Yeah, <laughs> that's a pretty poorly drawn snail. So, in conclusion, I say go C++ for games is better than Python. Python for, like, web development is better than C++. So, <laughs> if you guys have any co questions or comments, leave those in the comment section. And just be sure to leave a like before you leave. And if you guys enjoy what you do and we help you guys out, be sure to subscribe as well. It keeps us doing these videos. And I'll be seeing you next Wednesday. Wash your mighty out.